me one step at a time. Let's look at Psalm 18:29 and another, another Psalm 91 verses 11 and 12. Psalm 18:29 says, "With your help I can advance against a troop. With my God I can scale a wall." I love it. And over here on the side because I've never really scaled the wall, except back in 1986 when I went with Teen Missions International. We went to Kenya for three months. We had to do an obstacle course and we got to scale a wall. And it was really cool because the only way to get over the wall is with team members, right? So some of the guys would get here and we would stand up on their shoulders and then we could grab the rope and we could climb up over the top and other boys were at the top to pull us up over and then other people were at the bottom. It was amazing, but you have to do that with a troop. Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Follow me one step at a time. That is all I require of you. In fact, that is the only way to move through this space-time world. You see huge mountains looming and you start wondering how you're going to scale those heights. Meanwhile, because you're not looking where you're going, you stumble on the easy path where I am leading you now. As I help you get back on your feet, you tell me how worried you are about the cliffs up ahead, but you don't know what will happen today, much less tomorrow. That's true. Our path may take an abrupt turn, leading you away from those mountains. There may be an easier way up the mountains than is visible from this distance. That's true. If I do lead you up the cliffs, I will equip you thoroughly for the strenuous climb. I will even give my angels charge over you to preserve you in all your ways. Keep your mind on the present journey, enjoying my presence. Walk by faith, not by sight, trusting me to open up the way before you. I really like that because it is hard when we see those mountains in the distance. We think, how are we going to get over that? And even as you get up close to the mountain, you're just thinking, God, there's no way over this mountain. I've been in situations in the past and kind of in a situation now where it feels like there is a huge mountain, but I know that he's going to get me over that. And like she was saying, it's true. Sometimes you might even get up to the mountain and God's like, oh, we're actually going to go this way around over here. And you don't even have to go over the mountain. So I hope today, and I'm going to remember this for myself as well, that no matter what we see on the horizon and what we kind of see in the in the future, that God is going to be with us and he's holding us and he's leading us and his angels are going to guard us. And like I put in that, that psalm about you can scale a wall, you know, with that group of people that I was with, that missionary team, I did amazing things with them physically, like climbing the wall and other obstacle course things. But then spiritually, we did amazing things together because we were working together and we were united and God was with us and he empowered us to do great things. So I hope today you find your friends that you can help scale a wall with, or maybe you know someone who needs help scaling a wall. So there's both sides of that. You can be the friend helping, or you might be the one in need. And I hope today that you trust God, no matter what your future is. If you see a big mountain, say, God, we got this mountain. We got it. And we're going to do it. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.